there YouTube. Uh, my name is Colin. This is the brand new channel called Financial Success. And we're going to kick this thing off with a little mini series uh, going over a few of the trading platforms uh, that I've used. Uh, and I'm going to kind of point out some of the advantages and disadvantages of different platforms uh, as I feel this is something that a lot of people uh, are really looking into when they're researching and they're getting into investing their money. Uh, so the first one uh, that I'm going to review today, the only one today, um, we're going to do a couple other videos of some other platforms, but first uh, we're going to get into E-Trade. Uh, so let's go ahead first and uh, kind of look at the mobile app, which is um, kind of what I'm going to base this mostly around. I've used the online platform, but for me personally and for a lot of people I know uh, that aren't day traders, uh, we mostly do a lot of research and uh, a lot of transactions uh, with the mobile app. So let's go take a peek at that. Okay, so now let's take a look at the E-Trade app. We'll just go ahead and click on it right here. And it opens right up to the last stock I was looking at, but we will go back to the portfolios to kind of give you uh, an idea here. As you can see, uh, I do have uh, some of my Roth IRA in E-Trade. Um, We'll go ahead and look at this first to kind of look at some of the features. Um, one of the first things, and this is something I think is pretty cool, uh, you don't get this kind of thing with a lot of apps. You can click right over here. You know, you get your whole, this whole portfolio. It'll show me kind of the performance. I can look at the one year. I can look at, you know, two year, whatever. And then um, <clears throat> I can also click on it. I can compare it to, you know, the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, uh, you know, say the S&P 500. Um, you know, and it shows you here, uh, you know, it's outperforming this portfolio is outperforming the S&P 500 by, you know, roughly 10% or so. Um, so these are some kind of cool things, um, that you don't get with just any app, you know, um, now, um, you can scroll down here, um, and look at, um, you know, each, and this is another really cool thing, you know, I noticed with a lot of apps, like say with Options House or, you know, other ones where you have to literally go search for your stock, even though you already own it, just to get information about it. Um, whereas here I can just, you know, I, I, I'm right in the screen, I can click, I want to see about Apple, I click on Apple. Um, you know, it shows me right down here, uh, you know, of course there's the graphs, you know, some people like to look at these and, you know, really see how things are doing. Uh, you can play around with these. There's a lot of, you know, interactivity built in with this. So, and you can set alerts, of course. Um, so it'll notify, like, say, for instance, I want to know when the stack goes down to 130 because I'm going to buy more, so I alert it, so then I get a notification when it drops to 130, and I can look at it and decide if I want to buy more. Now, uh, right below, as you'll see, you know, it shows you the range, 52-week high, 52-week low. Um, it's not accurate right now, obviously. I think it must be because the market is closed, but it usually is, you know, if it's, if it's in a trading day. Um, now, you know, right below, you, you can see a lot of things which I think are important, the things that I look at in any stock. Uh, you know, I want to know how the PE is. Uh, I want to know... Um, you know, the next earning date's always kind of a good thing to know. Um, and I can scroll right over here, and I get the market cap, you know, the, the number of shares, the beta, um, the dividend, and the dividend yield. Uh, this is stuff that I, I always like to look at. I don't base my whole purchases off this, you know, of what stocks I'm going to get. But I just, I like to know these kind of things, and I like to know the date, you know, because it's always good to know when you're going to get your next dividend payments. Um, and this is information that you don't have to go digging for. It's just right here when I click on Apple, which is which is very nice and very convenient. Also, another thing I like that I can just click on, um, I can just go, well, here's the news stories. It, most most apps will give you the news stories about that, you know, mention a certain stock, um, you know, in this type of area. Now, you know, the, of course, you get the company overview. We know what Apple does. We don't need to really look at that. Um, but the earnings, this is something that I've always found difficult. It's something that's important to look at, but it's always, it seems like a lot of apps make this very hard to find, at least for me. 
Uh, but with each trade, I, I can really easily see, you know, this is the annual earnings uh, and this is the quarterly earnings. Um, really easy to read, of course, you know, like with a lot of you know, the green means that they, you know, um, did better than what they were projected to get. Um, it, it would be red if they did worse. You know, that's pretty standard. So that's kind of some cool features that you can look at, um, you know, right within your portfolio. I should mention also, you know, I, I've done... Um, both the Roth IRA, I have a traditional IRA here, but I haven't really been doing anything with it. And then an individual brokerage, uh, just, you know, a few shares here. Um, and uh, it's so, you know, you, you can do both some, some, I'll, well, pretty much any app will let you do an individual brokerage, but not all apps will let you do uh, like a Roth IRA or something like that. So if you're looking to do that, um, E-Trade is an app that, an app that will allow you to do that. Um, I should probably mention right over here, we have the, uh, you know, different, you can click on different quotes and do research uh, real quickly. Um, you know, you can manage your accounts, uh, look at your transactions and that kind of thing. Um, transferring money, that was relatively easy with E-Trade. I will say a cool feature they have is the bill pay. I personally don't use it, but I think it would be something I might use someday if you get to a point where all your money is managed in one place. You could have it all in an E-Trade app and you could just pay your bills, you know, right from the dividends you're receiving from uh, your stocks uh, or something like that, which I think is uh, would be a pretty cool thing to have set up. Um, so that's kind of a basic rundown of the features uh, with E-Trade and that hopefully gives you a little bit of an idea of what the app looks like. That is the mobile trading app uh, for E-Trade. Uh, they do also have a web-based uh, trading platform. I have used it. Uh, it has much similar capabilities, uh, a little bit more um, stuff. It, it's, it's, it's also very user-friendly. Um, for time's sake, we won't go into another demo of that. Um, but uh, it's very user-friendly and uh, E-Trade, some important things to mention are they offer, uh, like you saw on the app there, I have some of my Roth IRA with E-Trade. Um, they offer that option. They offer dividend reinvestment or DRIP account, which means that they'll automatically, when you're paid a dividend, just buy more stock, which is a great way uh, to help build up your portfolio um, and you don't have to pay any extra fees when you get, the more, share, when you get more shares. So you kind of get around paying some fees that way and also uh, it really just allows you to build up your your account and reinvest your dividends um, so that you can let that interest compound. And I'll and the but the 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 one and the the biggest thing I'll say the biggest thing about E-Trade is the the customer service for an online trading app is superb. Uh, you know they'll even call you when you when you open up an account and you buy stocks. I'll get a call from them saying, hey, we you know we, we saw you open up this account. Uh, you know you bought these shares. How's it going? What what can, what kind of you know, what are you hoping to do? Um, if you ever have an issue, you call them, you get great customer service uh, with E-Trade. Um, so the great customer service combined with the very, uh, the great user interface, I mean, E-Trade's been around forever. They're one of the biggest, uh, they're one of the original online trading platforms. And you can tell they've invested a lot of money in developing their software and it's very intuitive. And to me, it's my favorite trading platform. But there's a caveat to all this, uh, and that is, as many of you know, it's the most expensive. It is uh, $10, uh, unless you trade over 150 times a quarter, which I don't do, um, you know, then it drops it down to, uh, I will pull up the exact amount. I want to say it's $750, um, but it's actually, okay, after 150 trades, it goes to $799, which you know, it's still not, it's still not a bargain. Uh, and how many people really trade 150 times in a quarter? Um, you know, the ETFs are also the same price. They, they offer no load transaction fee fund mutual or rather no load, no transaction fee funds. Uh, they also have 1999 transaction fee funds. Um, so all, you know, although they offer great customer service and, uh, they have a great user interface and great customer care. They are very expensive. And 
it's something you're gonna have to consider if you're gonna want to use E-Trade because there are definitely plenty of cheaper options. Just about every other online trading option is gonna be cheaper than E-Trade. Uh, so thank you for uh, tuning into my channel. Let me know what you think. Do you like E-Trade? Do you use E-Trade? Uh, do you think it's? Do you agree that it's it's uh, too expensive? It's not, or that it's. It, do you think that it's it's expensive, but it's worth it because it's a great platform? Or do you hate it? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I plan on doing a few more of these videos uh, on different trading apps, so stay tuned for that. Click subscribe if you want to be notified of uh, when I get another review up of another trading platform. I also plan on getting into a lot of other personal finance things, so stick around. It, it should be definitely interesting. And uh, thanks for watching. 